Good evening and welcome to Eye to Eye. Dennis Sprangalang Hall is here. Dennis is a comedian, an actor, a television and radio personality. As a comedian, he has pioneered social and political commentary in local comedy. He has done more than most to demonstrate the creative possibilities of Trinidad language. And those two attributes have naturally allied him to the Kaiso fraternity, and he's been a respected and much liked uh, master of ceremonies in Calypso tents over the last 20 years. So I am very well, I'm very pleased to welcome Dennis to the table. Well, well, Hi, Dennis. Well, I okay. might as well be pleased to reach the table. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why. But we don't want to talk to me. Um, inconspicuous is what reached me to this level. Inconspicuous? Yeah. What do you mean by well, that? Well, I'll hide in the open. I don't really, I'm not really a, a forefront kind of figure. Well, I remember that. We will go into that in a bit. Um, because I remember when we first met, you were you had a, a very unique um, technical team. It was the Performing Arts Technical yeah, Team. PATT, yes. PATT in yeah. South. That would give sort of stage management and technical thing yeah. to, to theater productions. You were never on stage. No, no. But By then I had come off the stage permanently, I thought. Uh -huh. The problem was um, essentially you're trying to do theater full time. Mm -hmm. But you have a lot of people who work in eight or four and then come in to do theater. And professional amateur and amateur professional don't agree. <laughs> because people who work in it, they bring what the boss tell them to the job. And people who work in hold, they can't listen to that because they're now getting a chance to work because they now meet people. So it was a clash of the titans. <laughs> but um, Dennis, anyone who just knows you from seeing you on television and so on, would probably be surprised to know that you came out of a family where your father was a Latin teacher yeah, at, yeah. at Naparima College and so Latin on. and algebra, <laughs> which is the same thing, one in uh, mathematics and one in Latin. How, can, can you sort of just um, explore for us how you reach where you are out of a, out of a, a, of a situation? What was it in that home and well, in your school that... that I think, I, I, the thing I did was my old man. In what way? Um, he was a good storyteller, mm -hmm. and, and used to tell you a story to explain something. I think I pick up that kind of trait from him. You have an um, example of that? Um, well, he never used to tell me a story about large or blessing thing, unless current went. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he used to find the appropriate time to frighten you. But I don't think, I, don't, I think, um, essentially the stories were about when he was small. Mm -hmm. you know, that kind he of, was from Barbados, right? Barbados, yeah. Us, and he went so how we know larger blessing? Well, they used to call them Doppy, however, they had rolling calf and, mm -hmm. and them kind of thing. They didn't used to call them larger bless. But he learned about larger bless, and when he realized it's the same thing, he would juxtapose and confuse <laughs> you further. But I remember once Karant go, he carry everybody outside, but all the holy fellas around by the side of the road in this moonlight to tell me this story. And everybody had to live together to go inside because they're frightened, they live in the light of that. <laughs> But I think he was a storyteller. Right. And, and that to my mind. If at night he couldn't sleep, he wake up all the way. Uh -huh. And we sit down whole night and then my mother cried in because she had to wake up all the way next morning, all the way sleep, all the way I burning we six o'clock in the morning. But but he was that was a storyteller. Really. But also I think that the home was a home where people used to come. All to. kind of people. Beryl, um, the other people, Horace. I mean, we're we talking about McBurney, Horace James. Yes, the real, the real, the real, the real salt of the earth. Right. Also, to as little fellas, we went and see. Um, I mean, I remember the opening of the Ramagil. I remember Horace and them and play Louis King, Rupert King, um, was the, the Derek Breda, uh, Roderick, uh, Roderick, and you know all them fellas. And I also remember um, Trevor McDonald. In right, the they were from Ashton South Chambers right, and yeah. all them fellas, you know. So yeah. that I don't know why they used to come by me. I mean, my father wasn't really, but he used to carry me to see shows. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we get the gymnasium up in Naps, I remember Chick Springer and Schofield and all them fellas. Schofield was at Naps before he went to Oh, really? Yeah, we know Schofield up in Naps. Right. So that, that this Schofield Pilgrim you're talking about, yes, the he, pioneer he, of, of jazz. Of, ja of right? jazz, right. right. A big fat Fred Henry, Chick Springer. And all them fellas used to be in the gymnasium. Right. And we used to, you know, Caribbean little fellas. 
Six on set but, might talk about But it. support for performers from theatre, that sort of thing, came from school as well with um, with James. And all I these see sort of James things. get a doctorate uh -huh. About time. from UTT. I say, way. I say, I must live a little longer. I may get one. <laughs> <laughs> because James, let, let me see, James get a, a scholarship in language or something, or, or confusing language in you. We saw in the 50s, 53, 54. And James, once you pass through Sando and you do drama, James, and this, you no, know, last year, about June, he was doing a Trevor own play. And he see me in and I know somebody say, ah, you're doing a lot of good work, man. Keep up the good work. I say, but James telling me that, boy? <laughs> oh, James. He was a mentor for a lot of people that oh, went into theatre. Right. All of us, all of us, all yeah. of us, all of us. And I mean, men, some men, names, Ralph Mirage. Ralph, Dookie, but Tony, myself, yeah. Errol. All right, Pastor James. Um, and then and James Errol was parallel. Sitar. Errol Sitar and, and Errol Fabian. Fabian. Right. And, and once you pass through James, and parallel with James during the, the time in Sando, would have been Stanley Marshall, Albert Laveau, um, Errol Jones come from San Fernando Street and so on. So that, right. that everything went on. Um, Clarence Douglas, Mavis Douglas. I mean, you, uh, I ain't go down call. Right, right, right. James Lewa, James Lewa, I mean, and, and parallel with James to toting that tradition. Torrance, right. I hope Torrance get something for dance and so on. Torrance is the man that bring Beryl 1948 to start Arawak dance troupe and so on. And every organized um, entity that try to organize dance and drama and thing is Torrance and James. The NCC with Andrew Carr, Torrance and James. National Dance, um, Secondary School Drama Festival, um, National Drama, Torrance and James. Um, and two, we had a strange relationship with the Queen's Hall, because if one for Torrance and James, we might have never do theatre, because they used to tell me a oh, little, little countryside thing, yeah. and it have, but it have Queen's Hall, and James resisted going to Queen's Hall and said, we do the theatre here, we, 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 we're doing the theatre, let right. them come, so that... There's an opera bowl. Yes, if it wasn't for them, mm -hmm. I think our whole attitude towards... The, 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 the situation with regards to San Fernando and, and the bowl and have nothing, and, you know? Right, right. So that it was important. I mean, I only recognize that when the, when, and the bowl make 50 years and nobody and do nothing. The, the, the 50 at year last year. And it, it went through so many, um, so many metamorphoses. Metamorphoses. <laughs> right. But, um, burn down, Bella, burn down, Bella. Yeah, yeah. But we, um, we had the bowl, and we and, and James and Torrance was the man who pulled me to the bowl. And thing. I think I went in the bowl every day from tell me something somewhere about, in '66. Tell to me something about go back to you in in, in, in drama in, in coming out of school. You, you wanted you said you went off stage. What what were you doing when you were on stage as a young man? Then? Plays and well, I was doing yeah. Uh, myself and Stock were doing some poetry during the early days of the Arts Council Festival. Right. I was doing poetry mostly. Myself, right. late then for late him, right. and we do some with Errol. Um, and I was doing stage management, um, mm -hmm. song lights. Yes, well, I, I remember you know that part. Yeah, I know yeah, that but, part. T A T T with yeah. um, Elias and those. Right, right. and and um, Godfrey. And Godfrey them. Martin, yeah. right? Yeah. And we are doing. I was doing stage management for secondary school drama festival, right. but. Um, what, were, what were you thinking of, of, of becoming? becoming or being or, or what in those days? I never had, I had the dream that I would be able to live a decent life, make, buy a house, make enough money to live normal. I never had a dream to get no great, no, you know, right. I like it so, so that young people could learn state management and we have a nice piece of theater going on and so on. And I always dreamed that when I reached 60, on a Sunday morning, like them old fellas, in a tradition, you come out in a vest and a short pants with seam, <laughs> and you go up opposite the market and back up people, them old That's fellas who come out early and yes. only to reach 60 to have a touch of sugar and can drink. <laughs> <laughs> but I still, you know, when I get a chance, still go by the market and sit down. So you thought that you would, you would be able to achieve that through... Um, Technical support for, for, yes. for drama. Yes, yes. yes. Um, you when when we um, became close working through the Gael experience in the eighties, um, I think 
you had never even traveled. You had not even left, gone to Tobago at no, that stage. No, no, I no, no. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I first I was eighty-eight somewhere. Right. And and that was because the bowl was a busy place. Right. And sometimes people hire you to do technical thing, and then you have to go a rehearsal for somebody right. else who coming in the next day when it finished. So I never went nowhere. But the Gael experience. Well, Gael was a kind of a madness to her. Gael was a kind of one-off thing. And, and, and if you remember how the first series went, yes, Spiraland was not had not inven been invented at that stage. What happened is that I had suggested how to do a quiz thing, and nobody didn't understand. I said, "Well, we go do it so." And when I do it, they say, "Well, you want to do it." And We're going to follow <laughs> that up in the second segment. Um, we're going to take a little break and be right back with Dennis in a few moments, so stay with us.